When it comes to marine predators, most people think of sharks. They have some of the most powerful jaws in the animal kingdom. Their teeth are razor sharp for slicing open flesh, and their muscular bodies propel them through the water at astonishing speed. But some of the most deadly hunters aren't sharks. They aren't even fish. They are toothed whales. Hit like and subscribe. This is Fierce. We aren't talking about orcas, the killer whales that take on great white sharks, ripping their fins from their bodies, tossing them in the air, or battle ramming them in the gills before consuming their liver. The predatory whales we are talking about send orcas swimming for their lives. The ultimate killers of the seas are sperm whales. These magnificent animals are the largest of the toothed whales. They also dwarf any other toothed predator. But what makes sperm whales so deadly? Owing to their enormous size, with males growing up to 52 feet, 16 meters long, sperm whales don't have any natural predators. The young calves and sick or injured adults may fall prey to a pod of hungry orcas, but generally they don't have to worry about being attacked by anything in the ocean. Of course, rewind to the 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries, and these whales certainly did have something to worry about. They were hunted excessively by whalers for their oil. Inside their head is an organ called the spermaceti organ that produces a waxy substance called spermaceti. Back then, this was highly sought after as it was used in cosmetics, textiles, and to make candles. A single sperm whale's head could harbor as much as 500 U.S. gallons or 1,900 liters of spermaceti. On top of that, their blubber was boiled down to produce oil for oil lamps. And that wasn't all. The hunters soon considered the whale's teeth a prized possession. With 30 teeth in total, each measuring up to 8 inches long and 3 inches wide, this ivory was highly sought after. The whalers engraved intricate drawings and designs onto these teeth, something to pass the time with. This commercial enterprise of whaling was close to bringing the species to extinction. Thankfully, with the introduction of petroleum and vegetable oil, whale oil became less popular and was eventually banned in 1972. Looking back, it seems totally barbaric to have hunted such a spectacular species in such a cruel way. And so one whale fought back, or so the legend goes. The story was immortalized in the novel Moby Dick. Despite this terrifying tale, sperm whales are not known to attack humans. Sperm whales are also intelligent animals. As you can imagine, with their enormous heads, they also possess enormous brains. In fact, they have the largest brain of any animal that has ever existed. However, whilst brain size is generally an indicator of intelligence, it isn't the only factor. Sperm whales aren't as intelligent as humans other apes, or some other cetaceans like dolphins. Despite this, they are still regarded as intelligent and display emotions and a high level of socialization. This increases their ability to survive and adds to their status as a formidable predator of the seas. Traveling together in close-knit groups with the ability to communicate effectively with one another makes them difficult targets for potential predators. If orcas, pilot whales, and false killer whales try to attack, the adults in the pod will form a circle around the young and injured individuals. They face in so that their powerful tails are directed outwards. A single swipe with their tail is enough to kill any orca. The pods of sperm whales are typically made up of closely related females and their young. Males live solitary lives or form small bachelor groups. When a pod is in distress, lone males will sometimes intervene and try to stop an attack. Even though they are relatively slow marine animals, traveling at around 23 miles per hour, the males themselves are largely left alone by the likes of orcas as they are considered too large and too aggressive to mess with. As well as their formidable presence, there is something more intriguing about sperm whales, their hunting technique. They are found in pretty much all the oceans, with a few exceptions like the Black Sea, which has a shallow entrance, and they are considered locally extinct around southern Australian waters. But they are found in most deep ocean environments that are free from ice. The reason for preferring the depths rather than the shallows 
is to hunt their favorite prey, the giant squid. Little is known about the giant squid and its cousin, the colossal squid. Reaching 43 feet, 13 meters long, they live in the very darkest depths of our seas and have rarely been witnessed by humans. Some scientists have tried to capture a glimpse of them. One unique technique was to strap a camera to a sperm whale and witness the tussle that ensued between cetacean and cephalopod. But this did not work. The only time a live giant squid has revealed itself to scientists was when Dr. Tsunami Kubodera dived down in a submersible off the coast of Japan. There, illuminated in the headlights, were the muscular tentacles of a giant squid. It would be quite a sight coming across a giant in the murky depths, and no one knows exactly how the sperm whale hunts such unique prey. Having to make such deep dives for a meal, the sperm whales can hold their breath for 90 minutes whilst hunting. They can dive down as much as 2 kilometers, 6,600 feet below the surface. Their bodies are specially adapted to enable this. They possess great concentrations of blood proteins, hemoglobin and myoglobin, which absorb oxygen from the air. After a single breath at the surface, the oxygen is stored throughout the whale's blood and muscles, not just in their lungs like humans. They also slow their heart rates during a dive to preserve oxygen. They stop the blood flow to certain parts of the body, temporarily shutting down organs such as their kidneys and liver. But what is it like for the world's most formidable marine predator taking on a giant squid? Nobody knows for sure, but sperm whales have been found with large white circles on their skin. These are the scars left behind by the suckers of the giant squid presumably during the battle between life and death. Tagging studies have observed sperm whales exhibiting unusual behavior during their hunts. When they are at the deepest part of their dive, they rotate onto their backs. They then swim upside down in search for their prey. It is believed that this helps them to spot squid above them, silhouetted against the dim surface light. Sperm whales also consume smaller squid, octopuses, rays living on the seafloor, and some sharks, they need to eat around 3% of their body weight every day. This amounts to around 272 million tons of food per year for the global sperm whale population. Their social skills help in the hunts as they communicate with one another and collaboratively herd the prey. It is known that sperm whales hunt through the use of echolocation. This isn't uncommon in marine animals, but it is thought that sperm whales produce the most powerful sound in the animal kingdom. This has led some to believe that they can use their loud clicks as a way of stunning their prey. Disorientation and demobilization by the 230 decibels of sound has been debated. Although it is the loudest sound produced by any animal, it is still thought that it is not enough to stun a giant squid. It is an interesting theory though. Giving birth is a social event. The whole pod comes together to protect the mother and young calf. This is when they are at their most vulnerable to predators and when their protective ring can come in handy. The global population of sperm whales is still bouncing back from the era of whaling. The greatest losses were felt particularly in the South Pacific, where breeding age males were massacred in vast numbers. Although hunting sperm whales is now banned across the globe, Japanese fishermen captured 51 individuals over a recent 11-year period. They do not hunt the whales to eat, but complain that they steal their fish off their long fishing lines. Oceanic pollution, both chemical and plastic debris, poses the greatest threat to sperm whales today, along with collisions with ships and entanglement in fishing nets. They are currently listed as vulnerable by the IUCN, but are thought to number in the hundreds of thousands, and their outlook is considered brighter than many other species of whales thanks to the protection they have now been given.